My name is Alan Hart and today we're working in Saltaire near Shipley. We're taking out an old Suprema boiler. So this is an open vent boiler and it's got a tank up above here. So the customer's been having quite a few problems with this boiler. Um, they've been spending a lot of money on circuit boards and bits and bats. So they want it replacing. So originally they wanted to go for a combi boiler and in normal circumstances that would that would be the best option but in this particular case we've got 15 mil gas and the gas meter is quite far away and we're also in a flat above a shop so we can't update the gas so we we wouldn't be able to fit a combi boiler because we wouldn't get as gas pressures so we're going to fit another open vent boiler in but they've also had problems with it pumping over so we're going to combine the cold feed we're going to update it to an s plan we're going to fit an s thermostat we're also going to um, fit a fernox tf1 to the system and we're going to flush the system out if you like our videos please subscribe also give us a thumbs up and if you've got any questions please ask your questions below So if we can see here, we've got a we've got a live plan on here, and then we've got these air vents. So we're going to change all this. I'm going to put it. I'm going to change it to an S plan, and I'm also going to make it so pipes continuously rise, so that we don't need them uh, air vents like that. Just looks a right mess. Look there. So we'll just cut all this out, make it nice and neat. So because we want to make sure this job is 100% perfect for customer after we've gone and there's no problems, we've cut all the existing stuff out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna repipe all this. So the heart of the system if you like um, the Y plan we've cut the Y plan out and we're going to update we're going to put an S plan in and we're going to update wiring centre and we're going to put a Nest thermostat in so they'll be able to control heating and hot water from the smartphone so first of all we're going to check instructions just to make sure nothing's changed since the last time we installed one. Um, we do install quite a lot of boxes, so I do know the MIs quite well. So we've got a template. Right, so work in progress here. So we've got a floor coming up like pump is there and that pipe there that is the combined cold feed and expansion so what we've done is we've combined that together just over there because the tanks only there so we don't have much head of water here so I've combined them together and then we've got this pump and then obviously bypass goes that way and then we've got a zest plan valves here so I'm just going to I'm just going to wire that up now. So we're just wiring his nest thermostat now. So we've used a Salus wiring centre because it's quite big. You can get all the wires in. So it's all updated now to an S plan. We've used press fittings because obviously we're up in the loft. Uh, we do tend to use press fittings anyway, um, but it's a lot more beneficial when you're in a loft because you won't want to have a blow lamp on up here um, so we've wired his nest in so that's all up and running now and working and we've got his wiring centre there all nice and neat so 
so we're just finishing off now we've just got a few bits of tidying up to do so now we've finished installing a Baxi Eco Blue Advanced Heat onto a Nest plan with a Nest learning thermostat thanks for watching